as you know, AIM is introducing Premiere Pro CS6 as an option alongside Final Cut Pro 7. With that, um, you may have a bunch of projects that you've done in Final Cut Pro 7 that you want to then transfer into a Premiere Pro project. And it's very simple to do that, uh, but there are some caveats that I want to show you. Right now, what I have queued up is just a, a small little project I put together for the purpose of this tutorial. And it's just a short little 20 second promo. And what I'm going to do is just kind of play a little bit of it. <laughs> So what you notice is on the timeline is we have a couple things here. We have some scrolling text that you might see. Um, we have also a little animation here where it's just zooming in. So I've keyframed the scaling from 100 to 200. And also if you double click on this clip here, you'll see that I added also a color correction uh, filter. So with that, what we want to do is convert this into a file that we can then bring into Premiere. And the way we do that is by uh, going under File, Export, and go down to XML. We have use XML Interchange Format Version 5 and then we want to make sure both of these options are checked because what that's going to do is it's going to give us all of our files maybe files that we haven't used but we want to use later on so we check that as well as all of the latest clip metadata so we're going to click OK and this is just prompting us to where we're going to save this XML file what I have here is the master folder for the project that I've just created what I'm going to do is just save this as trans FCP Next, uh, I'm going to open up Premiere Pro, and what I did was I've created a project in Premiere called NCSS Promo 0328 Premiere Transfer. Within this project is you're going to import the Final Cut Pro project, and it's going to enter Premiere as a bin or a folder internally that's going to have all of the components in there. So what I do, File, Import. And then you see here, this is the XML file that we created called NCSS Promo Trans Final Cut Pro. So it's coming from Final Cut Pro. When I import this, it's going to give me a report with the issues. Click OK. So when I open this up, here's my bin with the FCP project file. And what I can do is double click on the sequence and zoom into it. And here is all of the same pretty much project edits that I made and if we play it the cuts come in as normal the music comes in as normal what you notice right away is that the text is a little bit off so it's a little bit different it's a different font um, it's, it's not centered, it's not scrolling, it's centered, but it is scrolling under the effects tab. Here's my three-way color corrector, and it is a bit different. It doesn't look very good, and it do, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison from the color corrector in Final Cut Pro. So you will have to re-color correct this project. The, the bigger projects you have, the more files you have associated with it, the more you might need to tweak a couple things here and there. But for the most part, dealing with just straight edits or a simple edit, everything's going to come in pretty much identical. I hope that helps, and look out for more tutorials coming up. Thanks.